you might think, hey, why do I keep going back here when all these black vehicles are here? And I think that at least a couple um, that aren't usually here, uh, you know, haven't been here for a long time, were here the other day or in the last couple of days, but, but a lot of them are new, right? And that is very telling. Someone had said, I don't know if they, they made it so I couldn't see who it was. They said that if I keep recording the cars, that they'll have to call the police. You know, it's not illegal to record the vehicles. Okay, it's not like I'm stalking somebody and walking up on them, right? And they use tactics like that. They, it's a typical white supremacy tactic where they abuse their white status in the society, you know, which is, you know, because, you know, it's a racist society in various ways. Sometimes it's subtle. And they say, you know, law enforcement's on our side. And it makes it so anyone with sense of no respect for law enforcement, military, the people here, okay, the community, what have you. That's the effect it has. It's not like if someone acts that way, they're racist and they're tripping. No, that's the effect that it has. Let's go over here and uh, see these, these four or so dark vehicles in the road. So it's like, wow, you know, why are they so stupid, right? And they have the nerve to kind of, you know, say, well, they hate you. Okay, that, 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 you know, if they take that stance, they say, hey, you know, this community is against you or whatever. They say, well, they're woke and they hate you. I'm not part of any liberal cult. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five dark vehicles in a row. And there's those two over there, right, across from that last one. Okay. And that's very out of the ordinary, right? The sheer numbers of dark vehicles here. And that's a pattern. Okay, if you were to look up how many vehicles are black, you would see it's inconsistent with how many black vehicles I'm coming across. And the message is white supremacy, okay? The, you know, it said the government's watching you, right? And it's a white racist country and everyone knows it, okay? And they're fuming and poisoning me to take away from my appeal because not only am I not white, but I'm not in American culture, right? I have my own culture, right? Royal African Falcon martial art culture. A lot of times I dress, you know, t-shirt and jeans historically, sweatshirt, jeans, what have you. Okay, but I'm not in their culture. And so that's that's that racism. This must be a multicultural country. In America, uh, Cali Even if I was in Texas, they shouldn't be doing this. But this is California. This is like an hour away from San Francisco. Okay, Morgan Hill is right by San Jose. Okay, these, these are supposed to be the most multicultural like cities and places on the planet. And instead, I'm getting harassed for not doing things in a way to make white people magically seem superior. You know, and they say, you know, you're gonna ruin it for everyone. I mean, we're talking right racist people who say stupid shit like, we're trying to keep things a certain way. Just, just fucking scum, okay? You imagine being treated that way? Imagine being mulatto, being treated that way? It's unbelievable, okay? I'm not proud to be part white. I can tell you with certainty that white Jews and LGBT people have come together for extremely racist harassment so they can feel tough, so they can feel like they're tougher and more authoritative than the top martial arts ever. And that's fucking pathetic. That is fucking pathetic. It's disgraceful. 